Alright, today we're going to be tying a clouser minnow. Not sure. Now, I'm going to make a thread base going back to about just shy of halfway down the chain. Pretty decent sized thread base. So you're going to have to be tying down quite a bit of bucktail. Put the thread. Get some lead eyes. I'm using white eyes right now. This is originally a saltwater fly made by Bob Clouser for uh, bleed bonefish. The original color was chartreuse and white. Bob Clouser was very picky about where he put your eyes. A lot of times when you buy Clousers or start out making them, you put the eyes too close up to the um, the eye of the hook. You don't want to do that because then it crowds it and well, it just doesn't look as nice. Alright, so your eyes there. You need quite a few figure eight wraps to keep them tight. Otherwise, if you fish them, they start to wobble around, turn. It's not good. Pretty good. I like to put a drop of head cement or some zappa gap on these just to keep it kind of secure a little bit more. It's a size 6 hook. You can tie this anywhere from 8 to. Uh, I think I tied this in like a 2 watt one time for large mouth. Usually when I fish this, I'm fishing it for smallmouth bass and carp will eat it too. The golden bones. All right. So now I take a clump of white bucktail. I'm gonna want this about two or three times the length of the hook shank. Went down on me. I'll do a couple loose wraps, a couple tight wraps. No. Go and trim the butt. Kind of an angle. Cover that up. Go back. There you go. Under the eyes. And up on top. Just kind of tie down the butt toe. A little bit back there. Alright. So that is the will be the underside of the finished fly. Actually, I want that a little bit thicker. I'm gonna take another clump of white bucktail, do the exact same thing. These wraps real tight so you don't lose any bucktail. Alright. Now, I'll flip the fly over and put it in the bottom. Will actually be the top. Alright, we use chartreuse bucktail for the top, but before I do that, I'm going to take some pearl flash blue, or not flash blue, uh, crystal flash. I'm going to move your thread up to in front of the eyes again. Alright, 
even it out. You don't want bands. You want them fairly even, but if they're not even, that doesn't matter. Look a little bit more like a palmetto or something. Alright, now I'm going to take some chartreuse bucktail. Pretty decent size clump. You want it a little bit thicker than the white. just to hold it. Trim. Buttons. Just cover it up. Finish this head cement and that's your closer. You can put peacock curl in as a lateral line. I find, well, it's never affected how my fish you catch with it, but it looks real nice. I usually have a yellow over white or a blue over white closer in my hat. Alright, that's about it. This fly is really, really good. Like I said, small mouth and carp. And I use it a lot. The chartreuse over white, and the bigger blue over white. And this one has the Lateral line. Oh, that girl. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.